Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Doomed Rat's Nest. This has finally worked through all of its enriched uranium. I'm just trying to think of... Yeah, nobody's allowed in here. How I want to do the automation. I think what I need is the memory toggle. I mean, I think I want to reset it with another thermosensor. So this one says, when it's below 190, send more. This one will send the green. Yeah, so memory toggle. So that will turn it green. And that sets it to red. So then I want a filter gate and a thermo sensor. And then we will let Steve and Amari back in here. Ooh, Amari was still let through. Oops. <laughs> Luckily, there was nothing for him to do in here. And the shipping rail isn't hooked up, so nothing will happen. Let me just make sure. Okay, now the shipping rail is not hooked up. <laughs> Got him in the head. Anyway, this is starting to build up some nuclear waste. And down here, I forgot I had to put the eggs someplace where the auto sweeper couldn't get to them. So now all the eggs dumped down there. Some ended up in here. And we're pumping out mud. I think I've actually used all the polluted mud. Oh, and Steve is hurt. Oh, never mind. Amari's doing a great job. Okay, get out of there. Nice work. I thought about combining this into here. That's why there's a bit of water down here. But then I thought that it's counterproductive. I want this area to cool down. And that's dormant and that's dormant and that's idle. And somehow this is still dormant. I think all of these volcanoes have cycled and this one's still dormant. Absolutely insane. But yeah, let's look at this and make sure I'm thinking about this right. So green resets it to red. I think that's it. So if you are above 185, you send the green, which sets us to red. Maybe I've got that backwards. Maybe this one needs to be on the buffer. I don't know. Let's look it up. Let's make sure that only the right amount comes through. So you connect. Why is that not green? That's why. Why? Yeah, that's not right. So let's set you to one, because it's not six units total, it's one unit at a time. The problem is this reacts so slow. So yeah, you're still sending green. Okay, so I think I need to hook this to the filter gate. So yeah, let's deconstruct that. You hook to the filter gate. And we let Steve in here. And unfortunately, Steve's going to have a bit of a hard time right now. All right, buddy, get out of there. Get out. 
Okay, so now this is set to three seconds, so that should let three kilos through each time. This still might not work right. Maybe that needs to be set to like 10. No, I want that to be lower. I mean, I've gotten way too much in there, but now the temperature will just climb up and then this should stay there. And let's set you to like 150. Okay, well, this will take some doing, playing around with it. How many shovels do we have? Uh, critters 13. Yeah, I, I just sent too many in here. It's only three. Four dupes are hurt. These are almost all planted. Food's kind of bouncing. Ooh, lots and lots of dirt. That's what I needed. I wanted to get this oxygen out of here before I open it to the other side, and that's all dirt. I need to feed the shovels, and right now they're eating dirt. So let's seal the other side of this. And then we'll sweep. And there we go. Shipping, grabbing all the dirt. Dump it in. Oh, hey! The delectable hatched. I don't know what they do. Okay. No idea. I think when they die, they give off something different. Anyway, back over here, we're starting to put in the infrastructure to collect nuclear waste, and you are full. So we can send you off again. And change crew, Nisbet, are you still assigned? No. Oh, I need to see what has an artifact. Oh, you're way off. Okay, so let's just come to here. Grab that artifact. And this one I want to swap to all artifacts. You swap. Also means I can put on... I got rid of the gas container. <laughs> I was not supposed to get rid of the gas container. Alright, let's put that one back on. Look at all that oxygen. Let's swap you. All right, dude, come build. Ooh, power's really not keeping up. Let's turn you on. How much natural gas do I have? 13? Ooh, that's not enough. I mean, this is running. That's providing power. It's not quite keeping up. And then hydrogen-wise, not making a whole lot of extra. Oxygen. I'd all admit I forgot when you're cleaning out the mud, you get dirt as opposed to polluted dirt. So that's even more dirt I can toss in to here.
I'm gonna hope I can get my pip, or not my pip, my shovel numbers up. I think 25 is what I want to try to get to. Okay, I thought I was building modules. I don't need that many solar panels. Oops. Looking at this space over here, I've got 600 kilograms of natural gas. I'm just debating. No, I don't think I need to send it. I was thinking about sending it over to this space, but... Oh, yep, you're down to a vacuum. <laughs> that didn't take long. Same with you. Yep. Okay, never mind. We're going to send over extra natural gas. How? Where do you even come out? So yeah, you come out of here. Oh god, the piping. Oh, I can do that. I got it. I just come across like this and feed on if this is empty. That way, once I actually get natural gas here... If that pipe is full, then it doesn't matter. Okay. I've only got one pump running over here, which I think will be fine. And looks like a little bit more piping to build. In the meantime, this rocket... Yeah, has 2,000 kilograms. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Oh, five. There it is. I'm like, why is it up there? <sighs> Weird. And we've got... Oh, you look hurt. Get out of there. So much stuff when you get to this level of this game. Change crew. We want Joshua. And we got five to pick up. So one, two, three, four. Seems good. that we got some extra power flowing in. I mean, we didn't quite run out of power. The Transformers had power. This just said zero. And Joshua's taken off. And Liam made it to a bed, which is good because he was moving kind of slow. Alright, screw it. We're activating both pumps. Let's see whether or not I could disable some of these generators and blah, um, eh, not worth it. Turn on both pumps, we'll get all the gas through. I mean, I could build another two of these. Yes. Nope, this will be fine. How are you doing? Another 20 kilos to get through, and then we'll get the temperature down and see whether or not that works again. And increasing the decor over here. Storing up hydrogen again. Ooh, that's what I can do. No, not you, you. I have rads, right? Yeah, I'm getting 900 a cycle. I can stick on another gas unloader. Get rid of you. And have this one pump out hydrogen. And then I can hook this hydrogen pipe up. And then put my extra hydrogen in here and then rocket ship it over. And then I'll figure out something to do with I got rid of most of the gases down here. Yep, so you. Come on. Okay, 
if that takes care of that side for the gas piping. And then same on the side. A little more building from them. Where are my rockets at? Just about there. And next I need automation. And I think I'll set it up for... That's enabled. This is... I'm sure. God, everything is in my way. I do it like that. And then toss in the nut gate. Oh, then tell it it can launch. I think. Automation is hooked up, other than I disconnected that one because I, of course, have too much stuff on this wire. So, we'll redo some of the wiring. In the meantime, we are currently collecting 136 rides a cycle, so this isn't going to fire very fast. Ooh, more shovel eggs. I actually want these over here. And I can set you to sweep only critter egg. Shovel. And I got some salt water and some other stuff sitting here. Yeah, so you picked them up, ship them around. This says there's not enough critters in here yet, dump them over here. Perfect. Ooh, you guys are probably in position. You're mining, you're almost there. You say neutronium's weird, like no radiation's getting through, no radiation's getting through, and yet somehow this one's irradiated. And same over here. Not quite sure how that blocking's supposed to work. If you've ever bothered to check, how long does it take for them to pick up an artifact? About that long. I have a magma lamp. And not my fastest pilot. No, oh, all of these metal volcanoes are dormant. Are you active? Nope, you're still dormant. <laughs> wow. Well, if these are all dormant, I mean, the radiation here is rough. But that does mean I can come in and fix things. Or is it... It's probably just better to come in from this side. Steve and Amari. Yeah, if I just come in from here to... Low Sange, some steam and some heat. Oops, I hit my microphone. And whatever. Alright, I've got all that fixed. We took out these batteries, get that swept out of there, and then I can just seal it back in, and it'll all be good. And what did you get? An office mug, which apparently is the most common thing to get. I think I missed a launch. Or are these not shooting correctly? I thought these could shoot diagonally out through here. There to there. Uh, hopefully I didn't screw something up here. Alright, I'm gonna keep my eye on this and see what happened. Why are you even running through there? Dumbasses. Alright, let's 
slow this down. Alright, maybe not quite that slow. You're just hitting. I thought these could shoot diagonally. Well, if that's the case, then uh, I guess I gotta move it. They're about to do the same thing. Yep. And that explains where that nuclear waste is coming from. Son of a... Well, let's hope all my dupes don't get irradiated. I don't think I can deconstruct these. Maybe I can. So, unreachable. All right, well, I disconnected their automation. These guys now have automation hooked up and power and a little bit of, oh, there was nuclear waste there. Maybe it'll melt again. I think it's solidified. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on that one, see if it wants to melt. Okay, I'll bite. What is? A moon, moon, moon. Radiation moon ring, and then we got a moon, moon, moon. Oh, are you done? You're full. Come on back. And you can turn you back on. And you guys should be. Nah, you're not soaking up a whole lot. But the nuclear waste did melt. But they're only getting 26 and 35 per cycle. So yeah, more nuclear waste is needed. On the main base front, this finally became active again. And we almost got the tanks refilled. So that definitely will help with the... Why don't you have any power? What did I do? Oh, you are fed off the coal generators. <laughs> I completely forgot. Well... I should have more than enough coal. I thought I was auto-shipping the coal. I am. Ah. I actually burned all of my coal making refined carbon and ceramics. <laughs> ah, even though I've got all of these hatches. Okay, so let's redirect you down to here. The shipping on this map has gotten insane and I love it. We're actually getting iron ore now. I think I'm about to get my first actually successful ride bolt shot. I just, I don't think it interacts with this. I think it goes through. Yep. And launched. <laughs> okay, interplanetary launches are now happening. And by the time the animation updates, it's already there. Oh, and you have... Rocket. Rocket. Plasma lamp. And what's your range left? 12. So I can go here. One, two, three. Yep, perfect. Can 
my payload should land right here, get automatically loaded, and away we go. There it is. Yep, and I did actually disconnect this. And interplanetary hydrogen. Good lord, how much is in there? Quite a bit. Well, thank you all very much for watching. Definitely a rejigger everything to get it all working. Hopefully at some point, those become active again and this one becomes active ever. But our several numbers are up. Food is coming up. So yeah, we are doing good. Now I gotta start shipping. I think I wanna store more nuclear waste first now that I've got to get those numbers up. So thank you all again for watching. This part of Spaced Out is definitely a whole lot of work for not a whole lot of progress it feels like sometimes, but then magically things happen. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.